I'm Nicole Rollander, editor of Wearables. This is Fashion Sense. So did you ever think that you would see deep, deep v-neck shirts and cardigans for men in this industry? Well, you're going to be. We've been looking at hot trends that are appearing on the 2009 runways and seeing which ones are carrying over into the wearables marketplace. So that and some other trends are going to be hot. For our November-December cover story in wearables, we wanted to look at 2009 runway trends and see how they're crossing over into the mar wearables marketplace. But you know, with the economy being the way it is, kind of fragile, and no one's really sure if we're going into a recession, we also decided to take a look at uh, how suppliers and distributors' businesses are being affected. The good thing is that right now, suppliers and distributors are saying that not too much has changed. Suppliers say that their customers are still paying them, but that could change in 2009 as credit lines dry up or get smaller. Customers might have trouble paying then. Distributors are saying that some people are actually looking for more value-priced items, but for the most part, a lot of people are still going for the high-price, high-performance, name-brand polos and golf shirts, you know, such as from Adidas and Nike. So we'll have to see how things change, if they do at all. We'll continue to cover this in wearables. The other thing that we looked at are the runway shows. And some top designers have sort of gone away from the overabundant sort of artificial collections that they've had in recent past and gone more toward traditional colors and styles and also more toward natural fabrics and items such as feathers and stone in their accessories and designs. Plus, they've also brought in more tailored technical fabrics, which we're also seeing, as I mentioned, that a lot of performance wear is selling. So we'll have to see how this all shakes out. But in the meantime, I want to show you two hot performance wear items that you might want to pitch to your clients. Now, I've got two performance wear items to show you. This is a PGA Tour polo shirt that's available from Perry Ellis. Now, it's textured. One of our distributors mentioned that the textured polo shirt is quite hot. You can also see the color blocking. And this shirt is also high performance, moisture wicking and antibacterial. Moisture wicking appears to be the hottest performance feature that we're seeing right now. Now I've also got a fleece to show you. This one is very tailored as you can see, and it's got a waterproof filter, but it's also breathable, so it's comfortable. This uh, fleece is from Landway, and what's also good about it is that it's easy care. A wearer can just throw it in the laundry, wash it, pull it out, and wear it. So they don't have to take it to the dry cleaners, no special instructions. Uh, pretty easy care. So those are two hot items in performance wear that you should kind of think about showing your clients. So as I mentioned, we're going to be covering some top trends in our cover story next issue. A couple others that we're going to be covering are plaids and tartans. Um, these fabrics are going to be appearing everywhere from accessories to um, inside coat linings. Also, we're going to cover eco-friendly apparel. That's been a hot story for a while, but what's coming into play now are that customers are looking for you to tell them the story of how this apparel was created, how it was grown, manufactured, finished, dyed, and shipped. So that's also going to be important. So make sure you take a look at our cover story next month. It'll also be online. Thanks a lot for watching. This is ASI TV.